Welcome to Complete K-12 Essentials. Fourth grade math. Introduction to percentages. Today we introduce the concept of percentages. At 10 years old, you have encountered them and probably didn't understand their purpose. And since percentages are used literally everywhere and mastering them will be important, we will get started right away. A percentage is a ratio. A ratio shows the relationship between two numbers. The percent displays that relationship in a number format. Percent means out of 100. A chart will help us see how the percent works. In the chart, you will notice individual boxes numbered from 1 to 100. These represent percents. So let's look at some samples of percents. Here we have 1%. Notice the percent symbol. This example is 10%. This example is 50%. This example is 75%. This example is 100%. Let's practice. Say the percentage shown in the color aloud. 30%. Okay, what percent do you see here? 50%. What percent do you see here? 75%. And finally, what percent do you see here? 91%. Now that we can identify a percent from a grid or chart, let's take some examples of percents and convert them to fractions. We know that this chart shows 5%. 5% of 100. Also, 5 objects highlighted out of the 100 available. You will remember that a percent is a ratio of 100. To express a percent in a fractional form, we simply use 100 as the denominator. Our example of 5% gives us the quantity for the numerator and the 100, which is always the denominator. Since we are only working with percentages, make sure you understand that other fractions that are not percentages can have denominators other than 100. Our example of 5% gives us the quantity for the numerator and the 100, which is always the denominator. Our second example is 10%, 10 over 100. Later, we will learn how to convert this fraction into decimal. This fraction is not in its lowest terms, so we will reduce it. Our answer is 1 over 10. Our third example is 50%. 50 over 100. Once again, this fraction is not in its lowest terms, so we will reduce it. Reducing fractions is covered in a different video. Our answer is 1 over 2, also called one half. So far, we have learned to identify a percentage and to convert a percent into a fraction. And now we will convert our percentage into a decimal. We begin by dividing our percentage by 100. Our first example is 5%. 5 divided by 100 equals 0.05. Note the decimal point moves two places to the left. The second example is 10%. 10 divided by 100 equals 0.1. Note that again, the decimal point moves two places to the left. Our third example is 50%. 50 divided by 100 equals 0.5. Note that again, the decimal point moves two places to the left. The fourth example is 75%. 75 
75 divided by 100 equals 0.75. By now, you have noticed that converting a percentage to a decimal is pretty simple work. Exercises. In the following exercises, look at the chart and choose the correct answer. The chart at the right has what percent of blocks colored? If you chose 50%, you were correct. The chart at the right has what percent of blocks colored? If you chose 30%, you were correct. Which chart has 75% of blocks colored. If you chose number 3, you are correct. A percentage is a blank that shows the relationship between two numbers. Ratio. Number 2. Ratio. A percentage is a ratio that shows the relationship between two numbers. Well, that was fun. Learning is always fun. Thanks for choosing a safe learning place. If you are new to this channel, help us out and like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. We publish new content every Tuesday morning.